here we go again with the Frigidaire 25K. As I expected what happened, the temperature snapped again. It was 42 degrees two days ago and freezing during the day. It only got up to like 50. And now all of a sudden today is 80 plus with full sun and it's only like 11 o'clock. There's even that haze in here because it's so hot. So I needed the air conditioner so I just threw this in because it was the only one I had upstairs. And getting the other ones up the stairs is just not a task I feel like doing today. So I put this in. We'll use this for a week or two until I can get somebody over here to help me carry up the other ones. Anyways, last time I showed this on video, I drilled a drain hole and I said the performance was abysmal. And there are all sorts of stupid comments flying, Oh, the filter's dirty, the charge is low, the drain hole is going to overheat. Uh. And of course that's all stupid talk from people that don't know what they're saying. So we're just going to go through and debunk all those things right now so that uh, we don't have to keep dealing with that. So first off, the unit's brand new, so obviously the filter was clean. That should be common sense, I don't know why that was a good concept. As you can see here, the filter is clean, okay? and the coil is clean by the same reasoning of the fact that it's a brand new unit with like only a half an hour on it from the last time I used it. Okay, now, the filter is clean, the air coming out is cold. pretty satisfactory I'm, I'm really surprised that it can blow that cold it's going in like it's 77 in here right now now if we come outside it's been running for about 20 minutes and oh look at that there's no condensation because it's not humid today buckets dry so these have to be designed to run without the condensation because sometimes it's not humid. So even if there was no drain hole, there would be no condensation in the unit. It's dry. You can see there's no water coming out, nothing in the bucket, it's not the freezing, there's nothing on the deck. It's not producing condensation yet. If you notice here, the part where the water sits is already rusted from, I don't know, one day of use. You always how quickly this thing would be ruined if the drain hole wasn't there. Now that, uh, condenser temperatures are totally reasonable. It's not overheating. I rest my case. The filter's not dirty, the drain hole's not causing it to overheat, and the charge is not low. Oh, I forgot to show what I, the other thing I wanted to show. See that? It's sweating. It's coming back to the compressor cold. Therefore, it's not out of charge or under charge or incorrectly charged. It is charged properly and the refrigeration system is working properly. So, I don't know why it operates this way. I don't know why the compressor is so hot. I just don't know. But I continue to stand by the fact that the thing has not enough airflow. It, the airflow is just fractional compared to the fetters 
14 and a half K which will go in here eventually so I'll see what kind of comments this video gets